Welcome to the Dreadford. There we are. A lovely name. Time for battle in a moment, I'm sure. The war is about to begin right now. I feel like destroying the Wood Elves once and for all. They've got a bit of a garrison, I don't care. I'm going to destroy them in one other resolve attack. I'm going to occupy that location because I need every location they have. It'll make me stronger. We'll grow quickly in order to improve that area and convert it to more undead likeness. Here's Ganels. Ganels, you're gone too. And all together, we shall destroy one faction. Hopefully, it won't take too long. Oh, hello, another cursed fields. Wonderful, that is more income, more public order, which will keep the location under my control. We haven't gone down here yet. I wanted to, but I want to give all of you a proper battle. Red Duke's over here, Bloody Jester's over here recruiting. All right, what about building? Can I build more today? Do I want to build more today? Board of Love. I'm gonna be finishing all my campaigns up. For all of you, who knows, I might be going to older Total Wars 2. I'll be mixing it up a little bit. Variety being the spice of life. The Wasteland, I'm gonna upgrade that to tier five while I have all the dark magic for it. That is a huge financial investment. Okay, I'm going to optimize my taxes a little bit if I don't need to actually cause more corruption. And I don't, not over here. Then I'm gonna have more tax money. And over here. Well, over here, I want to keep what I have. Public order, yeah. Coron? What do you have, my friend? Public order? They're happy. More tax money. Forest of Arden. Oh, yeah. That is really going to help me out a lot. They are quite corrupt. But over here, we want corruption. In the wasteland, public order. The Red Count. What will I give you, the Red Count? I'm going to give you Blade Shield. Avril, I'm going to give you wild-eyed. You're going to be crazy. You're going to give him the bug eyes and go, hey there! A bit like that. Be creepy with it. I've been playing Conan Exiles. It's been quite a bit of fun. I have a character called Mog. All right. Let's go look over here again. The Red Count. Replenishing. I don't know where the Wood Elves are at. I don't know if they'll be coming to play. Maybe one day they'll come to play. Can't go over there. Can I go over here? Well, not really. So I'll begin to move on my own. I don't know where they're at right now. They're traveling around. They're waiting for me. Maybe. Corruption. I would like more corruption in that area. My tax money didn't really go up by much, but then again, actually it did because I'm recruiting more. My upkeep goes up, yet my income is relatively the same. Even a bit higher. The red castle's over here. I could upgrade the walls for later. Gorsal might later deal with a large <sighs> army of Kurgan. The Kurgan aren't even over there. They wouldn't be right there. They're not from that locale. I'm very prone to playing barbarians. I've noticed I've got my barbarian Norsemen over in Warsaw Conquest. Krygar. All right, Paravon. Did, did I get his name wrong? I hope I didn't. My character. I've got all the money I need. More income in public order. More income. Oh, we'll keep upping it. And I'll move over here and get the King's Glade. That should be a much larger garrison. Oh, not that much larger, actually. If I could destroy the Wood Elves, I <laughs> would be quite happy. Paravon, they're unhappy. They could rebel. I don't want that, sure. But I would rather go destroy... The Wood Elves right now. I'm coming on. On my way. I can build another army if I want to. I'm going to keep on upgrading whatever I can as I get more dark magic. The Bard at Nightmare is what you'll have. That'll be very important for you to be able to navigate around the map quickly in order for you to cast your spells or even fight in melee combat. It's all very important. But yeah, I've been branching out a little bit. It's been an interesting year. It's kind of like my year to branch out, to try new things, to just really engage in new games. I mean, I'm a strategy gamer, yet I found myself playing only one type of game. And I know that if I cultivate a viewer base based on that one type of game, then more people will watch. I mean, if you play one type of game on your channel, like if it's Minecraft or whatever, you'll get more views and all that. But I also have to enjoy it immensely. And unfortunately, no matter how well it does, if I play that one game, 
I'll always have a craving to play other games and I'll like variety. Will it come back to my roots? I mean, yeah, I was actually thinking about the Third Age Little War and going back to that. But I've also got to branch out and I think one campaign per type of game would be sufficient, right? I mean, I could at least like do a Attila mod or whatever. And a few mini battles would be cool too, or large battles. But feedback from all of you is always very important. So if you ever have any feedback about that, let me know. Wouldn't hurt to hear about it, what you think, your own point of view. I do welcome it. I do encourage it. I do read your comments. I can't always respond. I mean, I don't want to just like give you a yeah, like yeah, sure. But I do read them. There's a little tab called community and it shows all the comments on all of my videos and I look on that every single day. And I read them. That I do. All right. I know a lot like people as they grow in their channel size, it, it's not always that they don't want to connect I me. Mean, some might not want to. I can't speak for all of them, but for some it's just really the amount of negativity you get. You might get a lot of positivity, sure. But at times you get a lot of negativity too. And I know some people do not really have the skin to deal with that. I know that at times I don't. I'm like, well, I don't want to deal with that. <laughs> you know, what's been actually kind of interesting, and I'll talk a little bit about it, and I'm sure a few of you might disagree with me, but what's been really cool is to kind of see the change in PewDiePie. I mean, even before he changed his persona for YouTube, I mean, I think he's always been the same person. I've seen his AMAs and things like that. He's always been very self-depreciating and down to earth. But, you know, on and on, I would see him interact as a person, whether it's through a interview or this or that. And he always seemed like a very normal, good guy. But then his channel changed too to kind of match that. I didn't really enjoy what he did before, the overacting. And I know it did well and things like that, but he changed. Now, like some people call him a filthy Frank light, which is kind of neat. He's um very entertaining to watch. I really enjoy his sense of humor and his uh, live cam videos. He's a very entertaining guy to watch. And I think that's really cool. He made a lot of videos just like talking about what makes him happy and why he wants to do what he wants to do. And like I think it's very entertaining what he does now. Not everyone will like it, right? But he's, a, he's attracting new people too. I mean, I never used to watch him. Now I do. And... I mean, definitely give him a shot. Not that I need to, like, encourage anyone to go watch the largest gaming channel on the freaking internet, but you get my point. Very entertaining. And then I watch a lot of iDubs. Dude kills me, man. Cracks me up. I used to watch a lot of Filthy Frank. Not as much now, but I watched him probably from when he had less than 100,000 subs. I mean, way back in the day. I would watch that dude stuff all the time, man. That was pretty funny. I did not anticipate him become like kind of becoming a internet meme and sensation. Had no idea that was gonna come. But it's always cool to see people grow and change over the years, and I like how he's able to do things that he wants to do. I mean, he's um not like his filthy Frank persona, you know. Joji would be his real name or what they call him, and. It's pretty cool to see him also do what he wants to do. I mean, he tried to do a series like music channel, I think once and like vlogs and they were actually very artistic and skillful um, in terms of their creation and their just type of intention. But he had a lot of fans that didn't really care for that and just kind of memed him and things like that. And so he deleted all of that, but it really wasn't too bad though, because now he's kind of embracing it a little bit more. And what he's doing, he's making pink guy rap albums and they're very po um i guess popular yeah i mean i think they're doing very very well from what i'm aware of and the reason why i'm bringing all of that up is just like bringing up people who have changed what they've done over the years and how it's worked out and how they enjoy it from what i understand they're not like pigeonholed into one act and some people enjoy being in that one act and i can't disparage them but it's just my kind of way of conveying how I feel about it and my own points of view as it pertains to YouTube. I don't know what I'll be doing in the future. I know eventually I want to do a lot more vlogs. I mean, if it got like out of hand, I would definitely create a second channel. There's a lot of YouTubers, especially as they grow, who will make multiple channels. But I really think I could do a variety of type of gaming videos. I can't do like FPS games. I mean, like there's like some games I won't touch because it requires like so much skill. 
Like, I don't think I could ever be an EU4 channel because you have so many people who are actually very good and who are number crunchers. I'm not a number cruncher. I'm not a min-max guy. If anyone watches me, I just want them always to know I'm never going to be the best player that you'll see. I'll be pretty good. I'll win. But I will mess up because I'm just not interested in min-maxing. I'm not interested in just kind of sitting here and going, hmm, what should I do? No, I'd r rather act and have fun. If I'm having fun, then you'll know. The Oak of Ages. I want to get that. It's, I don't know where they're at. Like, where the hell are they? I've been killing them for a while now. I mean, they're out there. I think they're really far away. They're just not close to their HQ, their homestead, which is pretty crazy. I'm at 8,100. But no, I want to try new things, and some things might work, and some things might not work out. And if it doesn't work out, I'll move on to a new game. I mean, it's just really a simple matter. And I have a lot of core fans. I mean, I know the people that I've known for a while, just kind of a matter-of-fact statement. But I've seen a lot of people stay with me for years, and some people go, Hey, your channel's not for me. Like, I had one guy say that my channel isn't for him anymore because I'm no longer doing historical Let's Plays. And one, that was a lot of work for me. Um where I had to basically read and understand. I didn't like to read from notes. I, li I like to understand it. Because I, c I could just like read from a Wikipedia, but no, I read this stuff. I like to just completely know what I'm talking about. And that was a lot of work. And so, that was really kind of a challenge. But I told him, yeah, man, thank you for being here for that long. But I get it. That's completely fine. I'm not mad at you. I can't be mad. I mean, there's like channels I don't watch now, and I don't watch a lot of channels like i said i don't watch as much filthy frank i don't th he's he's not bad he's still great but it's not for me like what he's been putting out or maybe my taste has changed over time i mean i still watch them just not as much as what i'm saying i watch more i dubs and um i watch a little bit of h3 h3 a little bit of that What kills me, though, is really the overall wit of I-dubs. Oh, man. His capability to roast people. His, like, sarcasm is so wry, and it's, like, an obvious type of sarcasm, too, but it, the way he conveys it is just very intimidating. I would not want that guy to make fun of me. I don't mind when my friends, like, make jabs at me, because I'll jab back and all that, and it's all good, fun games and things like that, but no, that guy gets at your heart and then he makes sure that you're not really able to provide a rebuttal to him and he'll make fun of himself too before you make fun of him and that's kind of what you got to do I don't really enjoy people who are like overly serious I will say like the only people that I just don't like and it's not just like a point of view type thing I just don't like are people who have a lot of hubris you know where they're like oh I have a gaming channel look at me no no who cares you're a nerd you're a freaking nerd, you sit in your butt, you entertain some people, and that is what you do. Get over yourself. You know, I hate people who have freaking vanity and pride over such a silly thing. Like, there are just so many more important things. I mean, we entertain, and that's a good thing, and I think we can be very influential in certain people's lives if we are. But, I mean, to have a big head about that, unless you just kind of like physically have a big head then it's a different story but to have a big head about that metaphorically is just really <laughs> ridiculous and I will always mock people like that or you know those edge lords who are like I have to use profanity as much as I can ooh look at me I don't care what people think I notice a lot of people like that are like perceived as being real and I view them as being ju just as fake anyone can be a douche nozzle they could just let the douche flow out. It's really not a big deal. I didn't know that the Blood Jester was actually losing a bunch of stuff. I thought I was fine. That is not the case. Okay. So what I'll do, I think, what I'll do, I'm going to let him wait there. Actually, I'm not going to let him wait there. I'm going to move a little bit. Okay. I'm going to break Siege. Now, we're going to come back. Give it a moment. But yeah, that's just kind of like my meta YouTube rant to get into the meta of things. I'm going to rotate a little bit. And I'm sure that's not like a thing for everyone. Not everyone would want to hear that type of stuff, but it's what I like to talk about. Did it really just kill my men like that? Okay, good. No, we're good. We're good. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to fight out that battle because I think I should. I think it's a good idea. 
and I think it might be entertaining. And not only that, the Wood Elves aren't showing up. I don't know why. I don't know where they're at. I don't know what they're doing, but they're not showing up. But yeah, I, I think for like goals for this year, I would like to do different games. I would like to do older games that I used to do. I would like to hit more mods. I would like to do want more like mini series. I like to do mini series a lot. I'm not really into like super long let's plays anymore. Some people like to do those, but I'm I like to get to the point, get to the entertaining part, and if I'm bored, I would like to move on. Because I mean, when I'm not feeling able that I can like complete certain let's plays, then I know that I just need to like try different things, and I know that a lot of you are like, man, I wish you would like finish a let's play here and there, blah, 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 but it's like, I feel like I get to the entertaining part of it, then after that, I win so much, and then it's just kind of done, and I kind of think that's a factor with, like, most Total War games. I mean, the only one that isn't really like that is probably Shogun 2, because of how hard the late game is, and unfortunately, Warhammer isn't really like that. You have a hard, maybe early and mid game, but late game, mmm... It's really because of how shallow the campaign map is. It's very shallow. There isn't much to it. If there was more to it, I think it would be okay. But there isn't more to it. And because of that, well, it's just it gets kind of boring at the late game. Like right now, I'm going to have a challenge fighting Chaos. I've been fighting the freaking Wood Elves forever. I had to build up forever. But now I've got to go over here and fight the Wood Elves and finish them off, and they're a very tough faction. They were immensely buffed up. I don't think they're as strong now. A few people were saying that they aren't as strong now, but they were, and they were very strong for a time. I do wish, again, there were two tabs. Trying to micromanage, like, two giant armies is really evil. Not a fan of it. So I'm going to put them all into group 8. Control, then 8 should do it. There we go. Put them all into group A, you two. They're all heading towards me right now. Let's go back over here real quick. I need to kind of micromanage and then I'll be ready to do whatever. Okay, I need to actually move my other knights over here. That is really where we're going to have our issues. My trebuchets are trying to do their part. We've got a huge mixture of units over here that we could kill right now. If they hit there right now, we might be able to kill such a massive amount. It'll change the tide of battle early on, which is what I want to do. I want to come over here and kill these glade riders. The Red Duke is over here you know I, I always forget how when he's flying he doesn't have his debuff but i think we're at a point now where i just need a leader who's able to fly in he hasn't been able to use it very much maybe when i'm fighting archeon it might be better but for the moment mm, i really need him to go in there and fight a little bit more i'm gonna go after these glade guards right now we have our trebuchets attacking over here launching over here Let's just get everyone to come on down right about now Move my cryptors a little bit. Did I say cryptors? I don't remember. Maybe. I'm gonna attack over here. I haven't played Total War for a little bit. I like to take breaks from things too. Been trying new stuff. For Honor will probably be an integral part of my channel no matter what, just because of how much I enjoy it. I'm not the best player in the world. I am getting better, and I think a lot of people who will watch me over time will enjoy it more as they watch me play it over time, which is kind of difficult. I can't be like really good from the get go, but I can get better over time. I just need like people to believe that I will get better, and I think I do pretty all right for someone who is trying to play a variety of classes and things like that. And you know, I'm not the funniest guy in the world, but I try to at least you know keep lighthearted because I mean that's my personality. Let's go over here and get these wild riders. I need them gone. I'm gonna come over here now and go after these guys too. I got my leader attacking these glade guards. I'm gonna now bring in some more of these guys to come help out. I'm going to come over here and fight, too. I'm going to bring in some Blood Knights in from behind. It's going to be kind of a sloppy battle, but I want to be able to watch it at least a little bit. I'd like to be able to zoom in for all of you to show you what's going on. Let's go ahead and do that real quick. We could get rid of leadership, break a few fools. I could... Spirit Leech. That tree man. I think I want to do that. Yeah, I'm going to do that real quick. Got way too much to fight right now. Okay, I'm going to bring in the Cryptors over here now. Go fight the tree men. I don't like the tree men. The tree men are scary. They're very frightening. All right, come over here. Let's go after the sisters. I want you to do that. I want you to come over here. I want all of you to come over here to go fight the tree kin. They're going after them. Actually, I want a few more of you down here. Got a lot of you fighting that group. I want you to come back down and go fight these tree kin. I'm kind of all over the map right now. As you can probably tell. Just want to go fight some tree kin. 
That's what I want to do. And I think even my commentary might change too this year. I just really want to just do what makes me happy. You know? Not that I haven't been happy, but you can always be happier in a way. I'm not saying to like just like create pleasure and become hedonistic and to not ever be content, but I'm just saying that I can always find ways to improve the quality of my life. And it doesn't always depend on other people. It depends on me and how I view things and how I treat things in my life. We're in control of things like that, usually. There are exceptions to that, I'm quite sure. Trebuchet ready, Trebuchet ready my friend! Ah, ah, ah! One vampire, two vampire, three vampire! Ah, ah ugh, I'm done. I'm gonna leave some knights here, that's okay though. She's still fighting. Kill some tree can. Get some more uh, grave guard over here. Got your own thing going on, it's okay. Should get you down over here. Very sloppy battle, but I'm not caring. Again, not min-maxing today, just kind of doing my thing. I will never micromanage large battles like that well. It'll be easier fighting other factions too that aren't like skirmish based, but fighting a faction like the one I'm fighting now, whoo-hoo, boy, let me tell you. I like how I'm hurting them along. All right, Blood Knights are in. Blood Knights are in, baby. It's what's cool. It's what's hip. Let's go focus fire over here. Let's go over here. Let's go over here. That'll do it, baby. That'll do it. All right. No matter the losses, I kind of want to zoom in for a little bit. And I want to do more mod reviews, too. I enjoy playing mods. I kind of miss playing mods. I might do, like, one-offs where I try out a new mod. Whether it's for whatever game. I don't care. I mean, I do care. I've got to like the game first. Okay. Let's come over here now. And finish off our enemies, and I think that is good. Ooh, there goes the Treeman. Yes, my lord! What a great voice. Go get him. Still fighting Treeman right now. They're gonna lose it now. Help him lose a few more. Getting rid of those guys. Okay, we finished them off. We won the battle. We got rid of the Tree of Ages, and that is now over. What a nightmare faction for me to fight. It's really not like I have the same spell casting capabilities as the Vampire Count, the main faction of it. So I'm just going to burn it down. Get rid of it all before we all die terribly. And now I need to get the hell out of here and patch up for a little bit. So I'm going to flee. Not flee, but relocate for a little while. Just going to get out. Can't move him too much. I'll bring him back, I think, in just a moment. Can I move over here? Yeah, I think I'll be okay. I'm going to come over here now to Ball's Anvil. Still making more money. Magic, whatever. Okay, we'll upgrade. Oh, hold on. We're not done. Thought we were done. We're not done. Okay, what do I really want? Yeah. Okay. Upkeep would go down. I like that. That'll do. The Red Duke has gone up. I do want to get him a Zombie Dragon. That'll be available in two more levels. Cool. I do wish he had more points. I've spent way too many up here. I don't like that. He's got Ray's dead. I can give him more spell casting. I like him being good in melee combat, though. Give him Red Fury. The Bloody Jester. One point. Bloodlust. Right. I'm hoping that they won't actually hit me. Or that might be a bit of trouble. We got one army coming back. Or they're trying to raise one up, it looks like. I'm going to get out of here, let them rebuild, recruit a few more, then head back in later. But for now, I need to, yeah, get the hell out. I'll head over here. I'm making so much dark magic. 
Yeah, you're getting out too. Can bring you over to Vol's Anvil. Major army, but I'm pretty done fighting the Wood Elves right now. I want to move on to another foe. And I'm making so much dark magic from just raising what they have. Yeah, I want you to have a health steed, buddy. You're the red count. Pit of Shades, very powerful. I like that ability. Okay, let's go ahead and upgrade everything while we have the money, baby. The money. We can make another army, too. To fight you know who. Look at that, man. All the high tier buildings I can ever want. Okay. Let's go look at my armies again. The Red Count over here. They're trying to recruit more. I don't know where the other armies are at, if they were destroyed or what, but they might even try to rebuild a location or two. I don't know if they will. They could. Let's go over here. We can recruit there later. All right. More corruption. I do want to get another Lord down here. Though the issue with that is that I know that the Beastmen will like spawn down there and be really annoying. I'm hoping that maybe they won't bother me that much, but who knows? They could. I'm going to have them go after... Yeah, that's where they're at then. Uh, maybe they can't get over here. Chaos is now the dominant faction, it looks like. Whoa, there's actually two armies. Okay, not full armies, but yeah, there's Alu. We got Dyertok over here. Yeah, that's looking good. The Dreadfort, right, right, right. We got everything all together. Yeah, I'm going to let him replenish for now. The Bloody Jester and all. Okay. We'll get ready to fight a more dominant foe. That would be quite dreadful. I don't want them to rebuild. I want to destroy them, so I'm not going to let them go. I am going to move up here, though. I'm going to move the bloody... I mean, the Red Duke back. I want him to have Blood Knights. I've been wanting him to have that for a while. I don't know why they're not called Blood Dragons. I would rather Blood Dragons, personally. But that's just me. That's just me. Or maybe it's you, too. I don't know. I can't dictate what you do. Okay, let's have a look then. Koron is over here. Boom, we upgrade another wall. Every location has a beautiful large wall. Back to my turn again. Here's Paravon upgrading again. Every location is happy but the Wasteland, which is currently not under its... Oh, there's Archeon. Holy... Whoa! That won't be good. That's actually really bad. We're going to have to get up there quickly in order to go fight them. I'm going to need the Red Duke back home immediately. Yeah, we're going to build up a new army then. I'm going to give him some Blood Dragons because we need it. Creatures of the Night. Boom! Burton, you shall now ah, summon the blood dragons. Do you make them cheaper, my friend? Let us find out. Actually, that should be... Where is it at? I'm trying to remember. Oh, over here, right? right. Do, do, do. Chaos Invasion. Obedience of the Vampires. Land of the Sphere. That's for my blood knights. Oh, that's cool. Cool. Black knights, not blood knights, but they do get a bigger charge bonus. Cool. I like that. All right. Keep moving up. Going to the Crag Halls of Findle. We're going to move you over here to Montfort. We're going to get ready. They're going to take out Marienberg if I'm not too careful. We've got large garrisons, and that might be sufficient. Whether it is or is not, I don't really know yet. There we go. Three armies total. We're not going to be able to win, but we will try to fight it just to kind of slow them down a bit. But that is going to hurt my income. And my knees. Oh, boy. That is what I'm waiting for. So now we've got a new threat. Let's try it out. Okay, that might be an issue. I've got a bugged map 
So, I'm going to have to try this battle out in our next part. We already had our major fight. We'll have another major fight in our next part. I'm going to have to reload this fight, unfortunately. Hopefully, there won't be a bug like that again. What a dark battle. <laughs> All right, well, don't forget to leave a like. If there's 200 likes, I'll have another part of Musion out tomorrow. So, 200 will be the goal. Encourage people down below to like and leave a comment, too. Thank you. And as always, until then.